driver in the Charlotte area known for posting about her travels says a tow company hauled off her rig even though she had permission to park. WBTV first told you about the challenges truck drivers face parking their trucks. We told you about it earlier this year. And as truckers face these parking issues, some claim there's another problem here, improper towing. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. You wanted to be in the game, right? Now you're in the game. All right, y'all. Y'all need answers? Well, y'all was here when I talked to my man about his ordeal with a tow truck company out in North Carolina. One of you guys in the comment section said, hey, what's the name of the what's the name of the company? Where are they out of? And I'm here to come back with that response. So. I went back and I asked my man, I said, hey, what, what was the name of that company that uh that 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 hemmed you up for that 2600? He was like, the name of the company is Etz 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 Trucking and Towing. And I said, wait a minute. Trucking? Yeah, they used to be a trucking company, but now they converted over to all towing. Because, you know, the money is in towing. <laughs> but come to find out, come to find out that this is the same company that a popular TikToker had issues with. The same company that broke in her truck, disabled the GPS system and the e, I mean, and the e law system so that the truck couldn't be tracked the same company that that took her truck and another truck driver's truck the same company that was hemming them up for a 12k storage fee right here a viral truck driver from charlotte north carolina y'all know who she is i don't need to say the name with 1.8 million followers very popular no more wasting time let's get it hold on well on any given morning you would find two 18 wheelers parked right here behind the old rallies in harrisburg but that scene was different just days after the fourth of july instead of going out on loads for the morning truck drivers were in search for their 18 wheelers i know good and well they ain't tow my truck i know they didn't tow sparkle carissa rankin showed up here at the corn of tractor lane and pepsi way last week and found her truck missing in the area in Harrisburg, she has parked at for years with permission from the property owners. So we came to get ready to go out for a load for that day. Our trucks was completely gone. It was a sign up saying, hey, towed. He took out of July the 6th around 2.15 a.m. And they took Clarissa's truck the day before, which was July the 5th around 12 a.m. based off of her uh, disconnection of the ELD. The truckers tell WBTV it took hours to figure out what happened to their trucks, adding they lost thousands of dollars that day in missed deliveries. Money lost, content wasn't made, and it took a lot of resources to even find our truck. No police reports or nothing. WBTV learned signs were posted on July 4th when Triple X Towing signed a contract with an associate at O'Reilly's Auto Parts. I obtained a signed contract and learned it was not authorized by the store manager. Sonic, Pizza Hut, and O'Reilly was able to come together and be like, no, we see them trucks park there every day. They got permission to park there. We have never gave nobody permission to put out a tow truck sign. It would have cost the truckers $6,000 each to get their trucks back, but they were able to provide proof they could park there. They produced that to us. We apologize for the inconvenience and the mistake that was made. We uh, politely gave them permission to take their trucks off the property at no cost. The towing company told WBTV it was a misunderstanding. They wanted to provide ethical services. That's not enough for the truckers who say the auto parts store sent a cease and desist to the company. It's very frustrating in that I, I really need them to be held accountable for their actions. She went over to uh, the place where she normally store, I mean, parks her truck, her and her other trucker buddy, 
she went over there the one morning and it was gone. Her and, you know, the other trucker buddy came out to get ready for the day only to find out that her truck was towed. She thought it was stolen, but it was actually towed illegally. There was no signs anywhere and she had permission to park the truck there. This company, XXX Trucking and Towing, swooped in, hooked up to her truck, and took it to the yard, the one uh, on the fifth. And they came and got the uh, her buddy's truck, I think the day before. Uh, they came and got her truck around 2.15 a.m. on the 6th. And they took his truck July 5th on the 12th. Of course, you know, they got inside of the truck. They disconnected the ELD system the and the GPS system. So they won't be able to find their truck. This is the same company that him, this young man up in the Walmart parking lot. XXX Trucking and Towing claims that they signed a contract with an associate over at O'Reilly's Auto Parts in Harrisburg. But O'Reilly's says, nah, nah, we ain't, we ain't signed no contract with them. And this popular TikToker and her buddy has permission to park here. So all together, it was it was it was going to cost them 12k to get both of their trucks out. Six thousand for for her, six thousand for her buddy. Kim and an executive member of XXX Trucking and Towing Company said. They produced that to us. We apologize for the inconvenience and the mistake that was made. We politely gave them permission to take their trucks off the property at no cost. Okay. So what about the damages that was done to my truck? Somebody got up in there and disconnected my GPS system. Somebody got up in there and disconnected my ELD system. Somebody needs to pay for that. Somebody broke in my truck. Somebody needs to pay for that. So, of course, the trucks was released back to, you know, the popular TikToker and her buddy with, with nothing coming out of their pocket. But they... X, 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 trucking and towing is not taking no accountability. They need to take accountability. They need to, they, they need to pay her and her buddy lost wages for that day. Ain't no telling how much, you know, it could have been in the tens of thousands. Y'all messed up my day and my day is still messed up because I got to take my truck to the shop give it the once over because once you told the truck ain't no telling what what damages could have been done up under the truck so this is the same company xxx trucking and towing now they said that they was they had misinformation about uh about having them to set up over at the place where where the popular TikToker and uh, her buddy was at. But of course, the district manager for O'Reilly's and other property owners said, nah, we, we, we ain't give them that. We ain't give them that at all. So of course, guys, I still did some more digging for you guys. So why don't we split the risk? You guarantee your delivery, say, as far as Panama. We take it from now. And I came up with the Better Business Bureau. 
and I went to their complaint session. They say the customer reviews one. They got four complaints within the last couple of years. With the main one being recent. This one right here was 516 2023. They said they paid $1,500 for them to remove the locks from my truck. They waited until night to notify me that my truck is illegally parked and fined. Of course, it's, it's, it's trucking and towing came back and they said their signs posted at the location of the incident. No truck parking. The driver was on the property for hours doing the store hours and ignored the sign to vacate the property after the store closed. Sign states that your vehicle will be booted and or towed at your expense. Now listen, I, I get this, right? If there is signs posted and we see them and we choose to ignore them, then yeah, the consequences should be bestowed upon us, okay? Because I chose to ignore the warning signs that you have all over the place. But listen though, some places where, where we go and we think we could park at, because the signs be so obscured. Like my man said, the sign that was posted at the Walmart was behind some bushes. Like, what are we supposed to do? Are we supposed to get out there and canvas the neighborhood, canvas the parking lot, canvas the bushes? I mean, it was an honest mistake and he was inside the truck. Hey, bruh. Uh, yeah, you, you, you can't park here. Uh, I'm going to have to ask you to move. And if you don't move, then I'm going to have to hook your truck up. And if I hook your truck up, that's going to be $2,600. If I slap a boot on, that's going to probably be about a grand. Knock on the door. See if they there. Give them the courtesy to move instead of try to hustle. Thirteen five. We still got to take that shit to Florida, man. Do you know what that's like these days? You got the fucking Navy all over the place. You got frogmen. This complaint came in early this year. This one was back in March. I was driving a truck from blank in route to blank due to an emergency with my family. I had to park by a near by the nearest airport and rush a flight back home. I parked in an open parking lot around 4 a.m out of the way of any cars or anything else. I returned immediately the next day to find out that the truck had been towed. Upon calling the company, told me that I have to pay over $3,000 to get the truck back. I was only transporting it. Now he, this guy must've been like a, a, a drive away. He had a family situation which forced him to park the truck and he had to hop on a flight to take care of his family situation, which is which is granted, you know, and I would think that it will be some type of uh, compassion from it's, it's, it's trucking and towing that if a family the circumstances had you to park your truck in the situation, maybe they, you know, maybe, maybe they could have some compassion about it, but no, they wanted this gentleman, truck driver, to pay $3,000 to get his truck back. He, he explained the situation, maybe he tried to get it chopped down, but no, they didn't. This is, this is the response from the company says our service our company service multiple private properties within the greater area some of our clients like lowe's gas stations etc the complaint 
filed by this individual does not explain the narrative of the situation the private property that we service do not authorize vehicles to be parked on their properties after hours due to high traffic incidents that had occurred on the property such as robbing drug use inappropriate solicitation etc their signs posted and yeah and that's it I, but i can understand but this was more of an emergency situation they also claim that they was not able to get in contact with the driver so i don't know if the driver didn't leave contact information and and what about that what what if he did leave contact information would you guys still would have called them i don't think y'all would have called them i think y'all would have tore it off the door and just say oh it wasn't there even though the driver might have left that on the window because in order to move the truck of course you have to get in right and make sure that it's in neutral or whatever the case they claim that there wasn't no license plate on the truck but of course um it's a driveway truck so a physical license plate wouldn't be on the truck but there would be you know a license plate or a license in the window so yes that the, there was a license in the window Who's talking to you? why don't you leave your friend here well you're gone maybe he can tell me how to run my business i think frank would like to see him well that's okay you tell frank i give him this guy an ice for it's 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 trucking and towing out of south Car north carolina drivers just be careful of this particular towing company out of charlotte north carolina man big cheese got it locked boy what you want